The model for cybersecurity clusters really came about because of an, an original cluster in Malvern, which was formed around uh, small to medium enterprises and individual consultants who were supplying GCHQ and a lot of the large security-based enterprises that are based uh, around that CESG, Cheltenham and Gloucester uh, business uh, hub. In addition to that, actually, the government had uh, declared something called the Seven Valley Cyber Launchpad, which had at one end of that Seven Valley was Malvern. And actually at the other end of the Seven Valley is the Cardiff and Newport area. And therefore it was a logical extension to, to build another cluster at the other end of that Seven Valley Cyber Launchpad, uh, which was, which was uh, something that was declared by the Technology Strategy Board actually in the UK government. And of course Welsh government wanted to support that potential growth in the region. Ourselves at Pervade Software and Urquhart, Dykes and Lord, the leading patent attorneys, um, pooled our uh, Rolodexes of contacts and companies who were interested and worked within cybersecurity uh, and uh, set up an initial meeting uh, to see if there was an appetite in the region, in the uh, Cardiff and Newport area, for cybersecurity businesses to get together, share best practices, uh, find out about uh, initiatives uh, that were going on that uh, maybe some knew about and others didn't, uh, and also see if there were areas where there were p potential collaboration to seek larger contracts, do more business, and generally just help each other to grow their businesses in the cybersecurity space. I think when we started the cluster, uh, there were perhaps some concerns that the various parties and cluster members might overlap in some degree. In actual fact, that hasn't really turned out to be a problem. There actually turns out to be much more synergy um, and uh, dovetailing between the members and, and what they are doing in their uh, businesses than actually any sort of comp competition or difficulties of that degree. Um, the cluster members actually are forming quite a, a tight-knit community where we're sharing information, best practice, um, disseminating information about opportunities and initiatives that are available and are going to be of use to various cluster members. So I think there's a great support network that is building up as a result of the cluster um, and hopefully we're providing useful meetings that people go away from with something of benefit to their company. Uh, the South Wales Cyber Security Cluster has got two sets of goals. So the first set of goals really is about government initiatives, it's about the government's drive to improve cybersecurity, make Wales a very secure place to do business and educate as many organisations in Wales about fundamentals of cybersecurity and what the threats actually are. So that's the first goal, is to help permeate that information down and get that information to small cybersecurity companies so that they in turn can communicate it to their customers. Uh, the second goal uh, is about networking, it's about sharing best practice, it's about finding business opportunities, it's about learning what, what each other's companies do uh, to help grow our businesses in the cybersecurity space and be more successful. So it's a combination of feeding information and sharing information and uh, sharing best practice to grow our, grow our businesses faster and quicker. Each cluster meeting we have uh, a theme and we also have guest speakers. Uh, and we're constantly looking for guest speakers who can bring specialist knowledge, specialist expertise. And actually, uh, what we don't want is for guest speakers to come along and tell all of the membership about the stuff that the membership already do on a day-to-day -day basis, because they already know that stuff. And actually, we can talk to each other and learn that. What we really need is organizations that can bring a new, different message that the membership's not, not attuned to and can learn from. So today, for example, we've got British Standards Institute are turning up to talk not about ISO 27001, but about how small businesses can contribute to the formation of new standards. So for example, Cyber Essential Scheme is a brand new standard that sits underneath ISO 27001, targeted at small businesses, um, because it's much more cost effective to achieve and the requirements are, are lower. They're considered to be the essentials for cybersecurity. Um, uh, and we've got a number of member members in the group who are now certification bodies, for Cyber Essentials, they proactively uh, support small businesses who want to achieve it, etc. So learning how that fits into ISO 27001 from somebody like British Standards is a, is a great topic for a talk. Uh, and the second speaker that we have today is um, talking about the law and the legal ramifications of a data breach or a cyber attack uh, and 
This is something, again, people don't think about. They might think about how do I stop you know, people hacking my data, how do I get a firewall, etc. But they don't then think, well, if I do lose my data legally, what, what, what am I liable for? And what am I, what am I going to do about it? Um, and, and an area such as uh, intellectual property, which is where actually most hackers are targeting intellectual property to get knowledge and innovation and expertise out of organizations. Um, again, what are the implications of losing your intellectual property to somebody who's just gone into your computer system, stolen it and patented it before you did? There's lots of exciting things that can come out of um, these types of cyber security clusters. Um, so where we're looking at things like um, new future opportunities where we can um, join forces, um, where we can work together and where we can build our brand names collectively and, and, and work as a, as a single unit to, 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 to go after bigger deals and to, to help grow our, our organisations and our companies. As a Welsh business we're keen to do um, business um, all over Wales. Um, even though we're based in North Wales, we have a presence in South Wales. Um, and yeah, we, we're just um, keen to kind of develop business in the South Wales area. We feel it's a, a really growing market. There's obviously a buzz around South Wales in terms of community um, connected to cybercrime. Um, so yeah, we'd like to be part of that. Students probably aren't aware of it so much. Um, I kind of just heard about it from a, a student there that he knew someone that had spoken to someone that happened to be going to it which is how I ended up hearing about it and uh, I thought that it would be good so but it was quite um, enlightening for me as an individual to kind of see what what's required for the future and it would be good if there was say a cohesion between the universities and the business like people meeting together and it would open up more opportunities for both the businesses and for the students and for employability of jobs afterwards. Wales has always had strength in information technology and software companies um, have always done well in Wales. I think cybersecurity is in a unique place at the moment because it's growing at such a fast rate that companies that want to do something ambitious are moving specifically into cyber. We've got a good heritage in South Wales of cyber companies, quite big and quite small, so it's a really vibrant place at the moment. In terms of organisations uh, and individuals that we're keen to get the message out to and we're keen to invite along to meetings. Um, the membership already has a lot of very technical, skilled uh, IT penetration testers and, uh, and what have you. But actually, the cybersecurity threat is, is more pervasive. What we really need is for managing directors and CEOs and uh, directors of businesses uh, who might not be in and of themselves IT but really need to understand the threats and the risks associated with their staff using IT equipment, putting messages onto LinkedIn and Facebook uh, and using their, their uh, works laptops and works systems uh, in a way that leaves the business wide open and we need to get that message out. So in, te in terms of attending the meeting it's not just the technical companies that we're looking for, uh, we would welcome all companies to come along and learn and find out more to help protect businesses in Wales. Thank you.